Welcome back. I'm Kevin McNulty. We had a great slate of high school basketball games tonight. We'll start over in Ishpeming Township where the Westwood boys team was hosting Marquette. And the Patriots student section gets a gold star tonight. They were loud throughout this one. We'll pick things up in the third quarter. Kyler Sager couldn't miss out of halftime off the pass from Jacob McPhee. Bang. And later in the third, wide open, top of the key. Bang. There's another for Sager. Told you he was on fire. How about another? Off the dribble this time, bang. Too small, and watch out, you got a teammate there. Timeout Westwood, that one gives Marquette a 17-point lead, but the Patriots wouldn't go away. Ethan Marta dishes to Reed for Staglio for three. That one falls, the Patriots cut it to a 14-point deficit. Jumping to the fourth, Marquette leading by 12. There's a huge three from Marta. Westwood back within nine. A few minutes later, the Sentinel lead just four, but Ford Richardson quiets the crowd with that one from the corner and Marquette keeps it rolling down the stretch. Sager with the fadeaway from 15 feet. That one is through and Marquette hangs on to win it 70 to 60. We'll head to Kingsford now hosting Norway tonight. Look at the Kingsford student section. A couple Norway jerseys snuck into the mix. Knights attacking first. Gavin Grondon denies Alex Ortman at the rim. And here coming the other way, Jack Kriegel to Jacob Markworth underneath. Basket plus the foul, Flivers lead by five. Knights would answer with good ball movement. Ian Pop finds Bryce Adams at the top of the key. That one's good. It's five to three, Kingsford. Quick one now off a steal, clear the lane. Cardell Morton's coming through. Kingsford on top now, seven to three. And here come the Flivers again, thanks to Grondin. Over two. Him on the wing, and he gets another one to fall. He had 31 points on the night. Knights doing their best in the second half. Ortman drives all the way, gets it to go. It's 45-27. Kingsford still leads. Grondin again. He was hitting all night. Told you he had 31. And Grondin, how about another one? From deep, Flivers go on to blow out the Knights tonight. 78-50, to your final score. Let's check out the scores from the rest of the boys' games in action tonight. Chassel wins it over Watersmeet, 56 43 and Forest Park keeps it rolling. 72 44, they win it over Stevenson. Moving ahead, Lake Linden Hubble keeps it going. Big win over Barriga, 68 to 30, and Rudyard with an 18 point win over Brimley, 61 43. North Central wins it over Carney Nato, 54 32, and Big Bay to Knock with a 72 53 win over Maplewood Baptist. Also tonight, Dollar Bay wins it over Republic Michigami. And Superior Central beats Mid-Pen 32-21. Moving ahead in boys basketball, Menominee, a tight one at Escanaba. Maroons victorious 77-76. And North Dickinson over Rapid River 61-46. Also in boys basketball, Ishpeming in overtime over Houghton at home. They win it 65-60. And Munising takes care of Bark River Harris. Moving ahead, boys basketball final one here. Calumet over Ontonagon, 46 to 38. Now over to the girls' highlights from this evening. Ella Mason and Nagani welcoming Lily Johnson and Gladstone for a Tuesday night battle. First quarter here, Mason outside to Aubrey Johnson for three. She gets that one to go, and the Miners lead it four to one. On the other end, Tia Schoen, no good from deep, but Addie Blowers comes out of nowhere for the putback. And the Braves are back within one. Moving to the second quarter, Madison Peckerel with the steal. She holds on to it and finds Johnson for the long two. Nagani takes an 11 point lead. And less than a minute later, Miners on the fast break. Mason pushes it ahead to Kira Waterman. Count the bucket and the foul, making it 19 to five. And later in the second, Johnson gets the floater to go off the pass from Waterman. And the Miners go on to cruise to a 54. 38 win. And back to Kingsford we go. The girls basketball team hosting Norway earlier in the day. Second half action. Lauren Adams sinks the triple and Kingsford leads 24-15. Flivers now on the attack. Adams into the lane. She has the steal and the bucket coming the other way. And she cuts it to a seven point deficit. Next the Knights with the ball. Anna Bordellini bats the pass down. Comes up with the steal. Taking it all the way for the layup, Kingsford back up by 11, it's 30 to 19. Deflections and transition buckets on the agenda for the Flivers tonight. Another steal, Bordellini over to Abby. 
Preslikowski, 4-2. It's 32-28, the Flivers lead. Knights held tough off the missed three. Bortolini with a nice pass inside to Mia Kontner. And the Flivers lead by three. Kingsford extends that lead late and could dribble out the clock. They go on to win it 44-31. And on the girls' scoreboard tonight, Ewan Trout Creek with a 40-point win over Hurley, that 70 to 30 your final score. And Big Bay Nanauk wins a tight one over Maplewood Baptist, 37-35. Moving ahead to high school hockey this evening, Hancock doubles up Calumet 6-3 your final there, and Heskanaba has no problem with Nagani 9-1.